The title of my speech today is Out of the Comfort Zone. But it's titled so, not because I'm going to be telling you all how to get out of your comfort zone, but because I am in my, out of my comfort zone. So this speech is basically me being out of my comfort zone. But hey, I'm still standing here, and I made it all the way up to the center of the stage without fainting. I won't necessarily tell you how to come out of your comfort zone, but I will tell you how I made it all the way up here. It's called walking. But all jokes aside, the reason why I'm standing here today is because I had this tiny thing in my mind called courage. Let me take you back to the summer of 2015. A good friend of mine is caught on her school's CCTV camera for doing something extremely unacceptable, and she is suspended. When she comes back, she is shunned by her friends, and few people speak only a few words to her. For a long time, she sat in the corner of her classroom, and she didn't say much, she didn't do much. She came to a point in her life where she couldn't bear to live with herself anymore. Until one day, she made a decision that changed her life completely. She decided to forgive herself. After that, she stopped crying every day and sitting in the corner of the class alone. She rejoined clubs and societies and even applied for prefectship. Today, she's a high achiever. She has eight A stars for her A levels, oh, her O levels, and three A's for her A's exams. She had the she had the courage to restart her life and keep going. She had the courage to think that she could change for the better, and most importantly, she had the courage to forgive herself. The original meaning of courage is to tell the story of who you are with your whole heart. And whatever story my friend had that day, she accepted. The decision she made all those years ago to have courage, to forgive herself, allowed her to start a new chapter in her life instead of closing the book completely. The next story I have for you is the story of having the courage to say you were wrong. The next story is about how I lost my best friend. It was around this time last year that my best friend and I got into a very trivial argument. And normally we would reconcile within a couple of weeks and she did try to apologize to me several times. But this time I refused to accept her apology. I refused to apologize to her and I continued to ignore her. Eventually, she met another group of friends and she changed completely as a person. And when I was finally ready to be, to be her friend again, the girl with curly hair and glasses was gone. And I didn't know who she was. I didn't have the courage back then to apologize to her. I didn't have the courage to say I was sorry to her. And I didn't have the courage to swallow my pride just for that one moment and be her friend again. And because of that, I lost my best friend forever. I could tell you so many stories about how I failed in life because I didn't have the courage to do something. I could tell you so many stories of how I've succeeded just because I had a little bit more courage than everyone else. But I'm not here to tell you about me. I'm here to tell you about you. I'm here to tell you that if you don't have the courage to go somewhere, you will never end up anywhere at all. I'm here to tell you that you can come up from one of those seats and stand it up in the stage if you have courage. You can win the best delegate award for an MUN conference if you have courage. And you can do anything in your life if you have courage. Anais Nin once said, life shrinks or expands according to one's courage. And even though I have no clue who Anais Nin is, I think she's, she's absolutely right. J.K. Rowling had the courage 
to go to over 60 publishers and present her ridiculous ideas again and again and again. And today she's a billionaire. LeBron James had the courage to be part of his national basketball team, even though he was the shortest member on his team. And today he is a legend in the NBA. Thomas Alva Edison had the courage to keep going and to keep going, and even though he did, he failed a thousand times. And that is why I don't have to tell you what he's famous for. So even though you might come up with something as ridiculous as a glass bottle with an electric filament on it, or a magical world where abracadabra is actually similar to a uh, is actually similar to a spell where you can murder someone, have courage and keep going. Thank you.